by Tom Lehrer. Here it goes. Equals. You can have by Tom Lehrer. Here it goes. 342 minus 173 equals. You can't take 3 from 2. 2 is less than 3. So you look at the 4 in the 10th place. Now that's really 4 tenths. So you make 3 tenths. Regroup and you change the 10 to 10 once. And you add them to the 2 and get 12 and take away 3. That's 9. Is that clear? Yeah. Now instead of a 4 in the 10th place, you've got 3. Because you added 1. That is to say 10 to the 2. But you can't take some from 3. So you look at the 100th place. From 3, you then use 1 to make 10 tenths. And you know why 4 plus minus 1 plus 10 is 14 minus 1? Because this is commutative, right? <laughs> and so you've got 13 tenths, and you take away 7, and that leaves 5. Oh? Well, <laughs> 6, actually. <laughs> the idea That's is the important good. thing. No. Now go back to the hundreds place, and you're left with 2, and you take away 1 from 2, and that leaves. Everybody get 1? 1. one. It's not bad for the first day. Hurry for you. wants you to do it in base 8. But don't panic. Base 8 is just like base 10, really, if you're missing two fingers. So we have a go at it? <laughs> 3, 4, 2, base 8, minus 1, 7, 3, base 8, equals... You can't take 3 from 2. 2 is less than 3, so you look at the 4 in the 8th place. Now that's really 4, 8, so we make a 3, 8. Regroup, and you change an 8 to 8, 1, and you add a blue, blue, and you get 1, 2, base 8, Well, 64 <laughs> is 8 squared, don't you see? Well, you ask a silly question, and you get a silly answer. <laughs> From the 3, you then use 1 to make 8 8s, and you add those 8s to the 3, and you get 1, 3, base 8, or in other words, in base 10, you have 11, and take away 7, and 7 from 11 is 4. Now go back to the 64s, and you're left with 2, and you take away 1 from 2, and that leaves. Now, let's not only see the same hand. One, right? One. Whoever got one can stay after class and clean the erasers. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs>